How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with another Ragnarok M Eternal Love video. Now, uh, today I'm going to be getting ready for the open beta testing launch of the game. And I'm going to be practicing my level 1 strat. Basically, seeing how fast I can get from level 1 to, to from base level 1 to 10-10 and be ready for my first job advance. My goal is to get that under 10 minutes for sure. Lo load into the game, 10 minutes flat. Done. I'm going to be testing out a few different methods, and I'm definitely going to share the, the best method that I find with you guys. So I'm going to be recording. I'm going to have a timer in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and I'm going to pretend that the server has just launched, and we're going to go immediately. So I'm going to start the timer right now Go and touch start. This is me starting in here. Got to create my character. Come on, come on. I'm just going to be an assassin. Name it real as quick as I can. Obviously, you're going to take half a second to name your character the proper name. So, we're, we're the investment of half a second. Take first quest to get 120 zenny. Yo, Toxic. I'm glad you feel the same way as me. Anyway, focusing up here. You're loading into the game. The first thing I'm going to do immediately is run around the corner here and grab this first quest. It's going to give me a dagger. I always equip the dagger. Run over here, grab this second quest. Talk to her as well, and that gives me five red pots. That is, an, I'm going to sell those five ref, red pots to have enough money to do this first quest I'm about to do. We're going to load into the second screen. I haven't found a way to skip this animation, so I'm stuck in it. It's nice. Take a second. Breathe in the beauty that is Prontera. And then I'm going to click to get my character running so I don't waste the time it takes me to open my map. Open up the map and get it running right across all of Frontera. Now you got a second to breathe because you're just watching your character run and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, that, is, that is a very good thing to note. There, there are no shops. Where's the million shops everywhere? Ragnarok M Eternal Love does not have open trade, so you don't set up shops on your merchant. Sadly, that was one of my favorite. Just like what you're doing, I guess. I have practiced this one, Booch. Thank you for the advice, though. So, the second we get uh, near these steps, I'm going to take manual control back just so I can aim my guy perfectly into this portal. Because sometimes you run past it, beside it, j by just clicking on the mini-map. It doesn't always work. And now, if I was to open the mini-map, I would just be clicking on that left portal. But I like to manual this part. And right into the portal. So the second we load into this room, these are the only real green quests that are worth it in the game. Run up to this cook guy right here. Cuisine temptation, delicious meal. Now, the way it really annoys me in this game is you have to constantly re-click on NPCs. The second you get the, get the item from him, I believe it's like chef's eye, we're going to run over to the primary ingredient vendor. We're going to sell chef's eye and sell five of these pots. Go back into the vendor and buy rocker leg meat. Alright, we're running back to the first guy we were just talking to over here. Cuisine temptation. And annoyingly, they make you... Click on them more than once. It's like, couldn't we just have our entire conversation? Why do you got to be so annoying? That's You keep going till you get the next chef's eye, which we're going to have to sell again. Primary ingredients, and it's lunatic meat that we need now. We can only afford one of them. Go back, talk to him. Cuisine temptation. A second time, yes. And a third time, because he's so annoying. Now you got a cool chef's hat, so make sure you put it on. Now here, we're going to run around the room and grab all of the green quests. There's one on this guy we've already been talking to. Levy has one over here. And Aya Nord. Now Aya lets you do the quest right away, so don't, don't stop talking to her. Uh, just spam it. You can taste. You don't have to actually read it. So if you if you hit taste and try to walk right away, it skips you actually having to do the animation 
for eating the steak. To be able to taste it, saves you a little bit of time. Come back to primary ingredients. I like to buy six lunatic meat at least here. You have 5k zenny from that first quest turn in. I could have stopped and made it right away. I run over here. So bag. Oh, my guy decided to run anyway over here. Use cookbook. I've, I've, I've been told we have to do this one at a time. Uh, wand. Apparently, I can skip the animation by clicking the wand at the top right, which I did not just do. Uh, someone had, someone just told me this trick. So, what is this wand? Play video. Ho! Oh! Talk about, talk about winning. Let's go. We need to make two of these kebabs. Uh, I was told I need to do the kebabs one at a time, so I'm, but I'm going to test that right now. There's one quest turn in. We do have to do the kebabs one at a time. So I lost out on a, like 5-10 seconds here by just not doing them both right away. But skipping the animations, that feels so good. And boom, level 10, done. Spam, let's get out of here. Okay, so now what we're doing, I'm going to go ahead and get a click in here. No, I'll just manual this room, it's fine. Once you're level 10, one thing to keep in mind in the back of your head is to... Put your skill points in before you get to your job advance. So I'm going to try, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm probably going to do that after I'm running back. I could do it right now, actually. Now, one thing I haven't looked into is the most optimal thing, optimal thing to put your skill points in. Should we, should I put some into agility? I usually just dump it into strength. So now I'm ready to clear that uh, job advance as fast as I can. Now, if we teleport Prontera South Gate, this saves us a good handful of seconds by doing this teleport. It's going to put you right back where you first loaded into the game. And here we are. So this is the NPC. The very first guy we ever talked to is the person who gives you your job advance quest. Fantastic. Boom. We are now ready. Uh, server reset time. For those who are wondering. I'm, I'm also just interacting with my Twitch chat a little bit here. Uh, Vargful, server reset time, I believe, is 3 a.m. PST, 6 a.m. Eastern. So we're going to go ahead and click again, and we are now running to cent the center square of Prontera, which will um, cue the next part of this quest, where we're going to run backwards a little bit. It's this NPC right here that we need to talk to. You can do it. You only talk to her once. Now, Nasha, we have to talk to a couple times. So just be ready. Whenever she gives you options, it's always the top option. And now we're taking a picture. Picture button's at the bottom right. I'm always ready for it. Get out of it at the top. I didn't lag that time. That was fantastic. Going in and out of my camera sometimes takes me a lot. And we got to talk to her again. This one, I always run away before this conversation. It really pisses me off. And they actually auto run you over to Kafra, so it works. Yes, please. You do have to talk to Kafra twice. Maybe even three times. Thank you. Three times. You bet. Awesome. So now we're headed to... Oh, maybe not. Yes, Adventure Hall. And Adventure Hall is where we're doing the actual job advance. So how are we doing? 7 minutes 45 seconds. I'm over a minute ahead of my last attempt at this, I believe. It was pretty sloppy last time. But I'm focused up. Skill point, it's stat points. I meant to say stat points. Sorry about that, yo. You're totally right. The stat points entry. So optimizing what stats you're actually picking to be able to beat this quest right here. As fast as possible. Now a good thing for you to do before everything gets going is know what class you're going to pick, obviously. And know the answers to these. Uh, thief is one of, the, one of the classes you just say yes to all three. Um, I believe mage, mage, you say no to the first two, yes to the third. On knights, you say yes to all three. And I think those are the only three classes, unfortunately, that I have memorized. And I like throwing it on auto, but really you could just manual this. You got pots, don't let yourself die. Uh, on the knight quest, there's a giant, if you're, if you're becoming a knight, there's a giant... Uh, I want to call it Mouse, only because I don't remember the proper names of the characters at the moment. The only characters' names, the only mob names I really remember from back in the day are the Pourings. But, uh, just keep spamming through here. Use your, um, bat, or, it's not a bash, but thump. He thumps. I don't remember the name of the skill, because I've never actually bothered to read it. 
Usually, I usually use the majority of my potions here. I'm not sure if kiting would speed this up at all. No, it just looks like it's going to reset mob aggro and piss you off more than anything else. And there's your lever. Turn it on. Don't click on it a second time. Spam clicking on it will go back into the menu and then you have to click turn off or cancel. And we're heading back to the assassin. Confirm. <clears throat> 9 minutes 39 seconds. Come on! Run! Down the hallway! I want this to be sub 10 minutes. Please. Run. Run. You have to, you have to click forward three times here. 10. Please. Three. Four. Five. Counts! It counts! We got it. Pause. Done. Don't even care. Ten minutes on the dot. Job advance completed. Boom. Now I know, now I know how to title it. We're good. <laughs> Just in the time of Nick. Anyway, so... That is how to get your first job advance from clicking start on the game done in ten minutes flat. So that, that is most likely the route I'm going to be running the second the server launches. Uh, and it's going to give you that, that good edge on some people who are probably just going to run around and do all the regular quests. You're going to make sure you are constantly ahead of them, hitting the XP maps first, and uh, leveling up faster. There's going to be such a race the first couple days of the server launch. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to come. I am loving this game already, and I've only been playing it for like hardly a week i was playing i was playing it before the the closed beta on the c server to kind of get a feel for it learn a couple things and uh yeah thanks a lot for checking it out again come join my discord it's discord.gg slash mass tv we have an awesome ragnarok m eternal love community already growing on there a lot of people are coming in from different games that i play and we're all going to be playing together and we are still recruiting for our guild. We have about 25 to 30 people right now. Some Ragnarok veterans that we've picked up along the way. And, of course, a lot of people that played MapleStory Mobile together. So it's going to be awesome. There's a really cool group of people. Make sure to check out my Twitter and my Facebook, also in the description down below. Catch me live on Twitch. That's I was streaming live when I recorded this video. Usually, I have the chat right above my head. Uh, so you guys can check that out too. I'm probably going to add it in most of my Ragnarok stuff. I always like the chat. It's my favorite part about editing. The chat's always so fun. I'm going to get your hair. Until next time, smash that subscribe button and stay classy.